Now we're going to talk Chicago style deep dish. Deep dish is definitely different. And if you look at the two pans, you'll see the difference. Stuffed pizza is a two inch pan. Deep dish is a one and a half inch pan. So we're going to do deep dish today. We're line our pan butter. butter. So you can either use butter, oil, whatever you want. So go ahead, you take a piece. And for those out there in TV land, we washed our hands, okay? So we are sanitary in this joint, I can promise you that. So we do our residential classes here and we do uh, professional consulting. We have a lot of different uh, recipes for Chicago style, but uh, this is one that works well. This is about a 58% hydration dough. We have our pan prepped up, so do you put anything in your pan? Oil. Besides the butter or oil? Nope. Nothing? No, nope. you can put Parmesan cheese, but okay. I don't. Good lead in, Michalina. <laughs> Michalina's going all butter. I'm going with some Parmesan cheese for around my crust. So I'm gonna take some and put it into my pan. And then I'm just gonna shake it around. And then we're gonna go right around the edge. Pan is lined with a little bit of butter and a little bit of Parmesan. Michelini's got the butter going. For me, Deep Dish Chicago is a little bit closer to the New York style Sicilian pan pizza, um, where it's gonna get pressed out. I know everybody makes the comments about, we do a, uh, a Chicago style, we use the sheeter. Everybody's like, ah, you don't know how to do it. They don't understand the Chicago style pizza. And there's different styles they use, whether it's the tavern, thin crust, cracker crust, whatever you want to call it, deep dish or stuff. They do a lot of different styles out here. And that, if anyone ever comes out here, if you're not from Chicago or if you're from Chicago, either way, and you want to come in, you come in Chicago, you can take a class here, and then you can call my guy, Jonathan, from Chicago Pizza Tours. The best pizza tour in Chicago that you can go on he will give you the history of Chicago pizza. He will take you to, I think they go usually four or five different pizzerias around Chicago. Um, so contact Jonathan at Chicago Pizza Toys and you can learn a little bit about Chicago style pizza and whether you say it's your favorite, it's not your favorite, doesn't matter, it's still pizza and we love it, right? Right, I'm scheduled on his turn next month. There you go. So, our Chicago dough, all right? We made it yesterday, it's got about 24 hours uh, refrigerated uh, cold fermentation to it. So I'm gonna take the first one out, give that one to Michalina, and then I'm gonna take, I'll take this one out. You like to press it out right in the pan? Mm -hmm. Okay, so. No, I don't, I like to do it on the table. You like to do a little bit on the yes. table. So we'll press it out, a little bit on the table. Dry, you want flour. I would like some flour. You want some flour. Michalina grew up in the pizzeria business. Her family was in it for 40 years, 50 years. 50 years, she was in the business. Um, and like I said, now she's been with us uh, for years. a couple of years. Four. Uh, four years. <laughs> and she's doing our Chicago style classes. Um, when you did deep dish in your families, did you hand stretch or no. did you put it through the machine? Mm -hmm. You put it through the machine also. So, like I said, in Chicago, they like their sheeter for their pizza. Well, it was quick. It was a lot quicker when you're doing a lot of pizzas. Exactly. <laughs> I went to uh, my buddy Tony Traiano's place in uh, Northside Chicago, um, JB Alberto's. And uh, it was a Friday night, and he was putting out, I think he said he averaged about 1,400 pizzas on a, uh, on a Friday night, which um, the place is a machine. You can't eat there, it's takeout only, there's no tables, and it just cranks and cranks. That's and how ours was too. So, all right, so now we're going up a little bit onto the sides, right? Yep. So we press it out from the middle, we have it to the sides. Okay. Did you tell them the difference between the stuffed and the deep dish? So we talked about it the last time on a stuffed, that there's a top layer of dough. And the deep dish is known. That's why for me, this is a little bit closer to the New York style uh, Sicilian pan pizza. I feel like this, uh, this is really where it started. So Chicago had deep dish and then someone started putting, I believe somebody said it was Nancy's pizza, uh, started putting another layer of dough on top. And that's really where the 
uh, stuffed pizza world. And then there were some people that say Lou Malnati's uh, was the were the first ones. I read that it was uh, either Nancy's or Pizzeria Uno. Nancy's a pizzeria But I don't know. <laughs> well, and wasn't uh, Mr. Malnati or Chef Malnati yes. the, the chef for yes. pizzeria Uno? Yes. So there you so, go. So that's where it went. And then he broke off of pizzeria Uno and went to opened up Malnati's. All right. So are those set? So what is, there's a, a special word in Chicago that you use for the typical. Marriage. Yeah, the typical. Everything on a pizza, if you say it in Chicago, everything on a pizza is the, sh the Chicago schmop. Sausage. The Chicago schmop. <laughs> and what does schmop mean? Sausage, mushroom, onion, pepper, pepperoni. Okay. Everything above that is, is above. So All in right. Chicago, everything is that. And then anything else is extra. Right. The schmop is everything. Okay. okay. So, sausage is first. So, yes, yeah, so you use the smop and you go in that order. Sausage, mushroom, onion, pepper, pepperoni. You want sausage, it's the closest to heat source. Okay, so and in place. Chicago, sausage is raw. Raw. They put raw sausage Correct. in their pizza. And unlike Chicago, so, New York. Not like New York. New York, we cook it really anywhere else in the world. <laughs> it's cooked. In Chicago, they use... Where it's the best. They use raw. So, you want to take a piece and, and yeah. show them how you, you uh, put you have your. Some sauce? Oh, you need sauce for this? Yes. Okay. I like to put sauce on the bottom. You like a little layer of sauce? Yes. All right. So, this is, like I said, this is. Not a lot, just enough. Just a little bit. Watch this technique. So, this is what makes Michelina <laughs> old school. Chicago. It okay? is old school. Say what you will. <laughs> like it, don't like it, love it, whatever you want. This is the way the old school do it, and still a lot of people do it out here that were taught. So go ahead and you start. So we use the Chicago pinch then. You, I moisten my hand and grab a bunch of sauce. Moisten it with sauce. Because it doesn't stick that way. Okay. And then she makes a Put your hand full. And then I take my pincher fingers and put sauce in it. So McLean is a righty, I'm a lefty, so I'm gonna use this. And then you pinch between your thumb and your forefinger a little less than an inch and put it down. So whenever we do consulting here with somebody for Chicago Deep Dish and uh, we tell them that this is the style, this is the way you do it, everybody looks at you like, what, really, this is the way? So this is old school, and if you Very watch Michelino, if you go to some of the old school pizzerias, you'll see some of these guys in the kitchen. I don't know how else you put it down. Right. How else would you put it down? So what some places I believe in Chicago also do is they might roll it out between two. Uh, they do things big in Chicago too. I know they talk taxes, but you know Chicago's <laughs> got some big shoulders over here too. Um, they roll it out in between two pieces of plastic wrap. And then they make almost like a uh, like a sausage uh, cake. I don't know oh, what you okay. want to call it. And then they unroll it into oh, well, the bottom. Little do I know. You so, want to make the pieces a little bit smaller because it is raw, and you want them to cook through. Yeah, this is going to cook for thirty-five minutes. True. I'm not worried about just it. Just in case. I'm going a little anxious. People get nervous when big guy, sausage. big piece of sausage. <laughs> All right. What's next? So time? that's sausage. So now we're going to stop for a second. We'll go wash our hands yes. from touching the raw sausage. Okay. We'll show you here, hands are clean. The difference, lift yours up. So Michelin put a little bit of sauce on the bottom and small pinches. I went a little more unctuous on my pinches. Um, big hand, big Bigger pinch. Hand, I was gonna say. Big hand, big pinch. All right, so then we got sausage. Next? next is schmop, so we got the M. So we got mushrooms. Right. Now, another thing that most people in Chicago use, raw mushrooms. As a chef, I'm not a big fan of that, especially mushrooms that don't have much flavor. So we have sauteed mushrooms. A little bit of garlic. Honestly, at my pizza place, we use sauteed as well. Sauteed, good. Yes. So you go with mushrooms. And I love it because when I have a class, everybody puts their mushrooms down like little pieces to make it pretty. Yeah, I know, and then it's gonna get covered with everything. <laughs> exactly. All right, so we got our mushrooms. And then we got our O for our onions. Now they are raw. They do like raw onions. Raw onions in hot dogs, raw onions in pizza. It's all good. I'm gonna put a little bit of raw onion in here. 
So once you see how it's finished, you're gonna see the onions basically basically get steamed in the yeah. in the pizza, right? Yep. So we got onions, nice peas. peppers. Pepper before pepperoni. Peppers before pepperoni. So we got green peppers, also raw, otherwise known as in my house, agita. Agita. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna put some green peppers down. In my place, we do saute the peppers too, if you would like that way. You do, yeah, yes. I think it'd be better. Yeah. Sweeten it up a little bit. Yeah. Okay, but we're doing Chicago style. This way, everybody out in TikTok land can talk their smack Correct. about Chicago, <laughs> and then the other TikTokers can defend it. Correct. Oh, now, the last piece. Peppers, the other P. Pepperoni. Is pepperoni. So. so. And there's mozzarella in between the two So here's peas. what I always say. If you like crispy pepperoni, you put that on top of the cheese. If you don't like it crispy, you put it on the bottom. Okay, so you... I'll put mine on top because I like it crispy. You're going to do it on top. I'm going to put pepperoni then underneath. So now I'll put my pepperoni. So like we said, it's sausage, mushrooms, onions, peppers, and pepperoni. So this is uh, my... Pepperoni of choice. This is margarita pepperoni. So this is their, what they call a lay flat pepperoni. So it, it will it will caramelize and get crunchy, but it, uh, it it's not a cup and char. So I got my pepperoni in, and now we're gonna take some mozzarella. Now the pepperoni going on top of a deep dish, because it's going to cook longer, it might get a little bit more crispy than you'd like it. But I like it crispy. So it all depends. So what basically Michalina is saying is you can put your cheese and your sauce down, and then you can, you can bake it off. This is going to take 25 minutes, about 25 minutes, 20 to 25 minutes. I have the oven set at 425 degrees, okay? So it's gonna take about 20 to 25 minutes. So this is a little different than the stuffed pizza, okay? The stuffed pizza you saw, we were at about four, maybe a tad over, just a little bit over, four pounds in that, uh, in that uh, stuffed pizza. How big was this pizza? The deep dish, it was, uh, it was about this size. We didn't, want to, we didn't want anybody going hungry. No, not at all. <laughs> so this one has a little bit left. This is a regularly normal, normal topped amount of cheese. And then sauce, right? For you. I don't put any more sauce on it. You don't put any more sauce. Nope. So you're straight up, just a little bit of sauce on the bottom. Yep. I feel like I need more sauce. Okay. This is the beauty of cooking, of pizza, <laughs> of food. Everybody has it different. So what I'm gonna do is just, maybe what I'll do instead of spreading it, is I'm just gonna put a little bit of sauce around. So this is our pastorelli crushed tomatoes. We got some uh, oregano, dry basil, granulated garlic, uh, salt and pepper, okay? So, that's gonna be mine. Now, Michelini's going pepperoni. The last of the pizza. This is typical, like we said, it's the schmop method. Chicago schmop. Correct. Sausage, mushrooms, onions, peppers, and then cheese, and then pepperoni or pepperoni and, cheese. pepperoni and then cheese on top. So you see it's a little different to two. And this is what you'll see if you go to pizzerias out here and you order a deep dish, this is where it could be a little different. But again, this is where, you know, our, our wait staff comes in and is like, this is how we do Chi-Town style. Exactly. Chi-Town. Everybody has their own little method, but it's always, at the end, it's gonna be the same. It's going to be uh, the same. The same but different. The same but different. Deep All right. Dish. We're going into the oven. This is probably going to cook. Deep, uh, deep dish is going to cook about 25 minutes, more or less. And uh, you'll see some deliciousness. <laughs> about 23 minutes at 425 degrees. Uh, Nicole, are you happy with yours? I am. So, Michalina has hers. So the, the pepperoni being on top did curl up a little bit. Um, I got mine with a little bit of sauce on top. I feel like, even though I put a little bit of uh, Parmesan on the bottom, I feel like I still need a little more Parmesan on the top. <laughs> All right, so Michalina, you like the, the big knife, yes. the samurai sword. Yes. 
I'll use the rocker. All right? So this is what you're gonna see. So, you ready? Yep. So, the beauty, Chicago metallic pins. We have a few of them here. <laughs> we have our deep dish, shot town style. All right, you ready? This will be the only time I ever cut my pizza in triangles. A deep dish? Mm -hmm. It's the way it should be cut though. Yeah, I know. <laughs> they don't cut this one. They'll, they'll cut their uh, tavern style in squares, but this one, this one they, they use a little bit. But this I think is because this is Sicilian's. Uh, started this one. So Sicilian style, so we cut pie shape. Yeah, pie shape. The Calabrese, I think, started the tavern style out here. So that's Which why it went way to... better. It went, it went to uh, squares. We go All back right. and forth, do we do? Squares so, versus triangles. Oh, that's not going to work. All right, let's see if we can get it all the way. Go there. Thank you. All right, so you see the difference. This is a little bit more, this is pan, traditional pan pizza um, style. I got a little sauce on top of mine. Michelina has a little bit of pepperoni on top of hers. So traditional, I feel like it's sauce still missing bone. something though. Oh, how about some? Oh, oh dude, yeah, like I said, it. it's never complete <laughs> in Chicago unless there's some jardinier on top. So we'll put a little bit of jot in there. A little. You want some too? I sure do. Jot in there on everything. This Chicago deep dish, if you want to see the video, if you didn't see the video for the stuffed pizza, you can go and, and look at the video for stuffed pizza. Also on our page is the recipe for Chicago style dough. And a lot of people will use the same dough for tavern, deep dish, and stuff. We do, yes. Right? It's most of the yes. same. Some places might have a little different recipe, uh, and usually if they do for the deep dish, it's gonna be a little bit higher hydration dough, but for the most part, uh, one dough gets you all bon appetit.